Good morning, guys. What are we gonna do today? I think we're gonna make lampshades. So I'm gonna just show you some basic concepts how to use a wire lampshade and make your own lampshades with it. So you can tell these are all a little different. This one I used handmade paper. These are just book paper. One stamped, one has transfers. This one's stamped and I added some fabric around the top and bottom. And nobody but me likes my goofy little dog lamp, but I just love this little guy, he's so cute. So let's just get started. Okay, so I just, I'm gonna use this little lampshade. I have a really big one that I wanna try, but I thought for this I'd start small and then work my way up if I love it. So to make your template, I see I have six of the exact same uh, rectangular type pieces here, even though they're a little thinner at the top and at the bottom. So what I did is take a sheet of book paper and what I'm gonna do is just lightly bend right here. Lightly bend right there. Then I'm going to push my fingers on the sides here and here and double check to make sure I'm still lined up. Now I know I have my template. So when I cut this, I'm cutting this just a little bit on the outside edge of all of this. The only thing I found is um, if you want a top and a bottom, like on this one where I folded the page up, you're going to make it just a little longer at the top and the bottom so you can fold that up. This one at the top I didn't, so it didn't really matter, but I did fold it up at the bottom. This one I just added. Um, fabric too, so it didn't matter. So it just depends on what you're wanting to do. So let's say you want to fold the top and the bottom up. So I'm gonna go to the outside edge of that. Give myself a little room here and I can shorten this up. I know that's the top, but if I wanna fold it down a little, oh, I might just cut it to right there. right here. I'm folding, I'll hold this up here. I'm just folding the top and bottom up. So I have my finished lines right there. Now these are the indentation marks here and here. Now this is gonna be my template. So I'm gonna cut more of these out. I cut six of these out and I'm folding the top and bottom of all of these. You could even use a cute kid's book or if your pages weren't big enough on a kid's book, you could just sew your pages together and just make a bigger piece. And that could be really fun too. So I'm folding the top and bottom of all of them. So what we're gonna do next is you gave yourself a little extra room. So here's the original template with the lines. So you're going, I did a zigzag stitch. So you're putting your wrong sides, the insides together. And I just did a zigzag stitch down the right side of each one. And you can see how I did that right here. And I went through the folds all the way down. Then after you sew that one, you grab your next piece, sew those together and go all the way around. You can see how I did that. Okay, so then before you get to the last, um, the very last stitch, you have your whole open piece laying there. Now, either before you sew it together or when you get to that stage, you can decide, do you wanna put transfers on these? Do you wanna put stamps on these? Do you just wanna leave them plain because the paper is so cute? Do you wanna add any other dimension to them? That's when you would do that, either before you sew the sides together or before you sew the last side together. Um, and when you get all of that done, you can see I put transfers on each of these pages. And actually I put these on first and then I sewed the pages together so it looked like the pieces actually run together and it's one big circular photo and they all go together. And this one I added a little crackle, some birds, some vines, but anything you would like to do, just whatever you like or said just use the book paper. So when you are done, then you sew the last seam together and then you're going to have a piece like this. This one I wanted to do something different, so I just did some hole punches and ran a piece of wool over the top of this. 
what I did was I just stamped it after I had the the sides sewed together except for the last one. And then I just lined it up and just I wanted it more monochromatic. So I just used this this yellow and the florals all the way around on this paper. I used some cheesecloth um, that I had sprayed with some tan writ dye so it looked a little older and I just had a strip around and I took a needle and thread and just did a couple little tack stitches throughout the top and throughout the bottom. And then all you have to do is put it on your lampshade and you're all done. So if you guys do this project, I'd really love to see some pictures and post them for me on the website because I would love to see what you do if you use the concept. Um, if I ever get my really big one done, and it's a little squirrely, it goes down and kind of comes up with the wire, but I'll post a picture of that too. So whatever you do, have fun. Thanks. Bye.